There's a bit of Neptune in here. And the other thing we do have is Highlands. Is she going to be in calf? This is going to be great YouTube if I get kicked in the face. Because he is in for an absolute treat. Lights on. Uh, I need not you. I need a marker. I need a marker. You'll look. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell next to our subscribe button because you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. What we're we doing today, we are seeing some lovely livestock, and that is all we have. Amazing livestock. You see these guys doing well. A bit of rain on the backs, which isn't a bad thing at the moment. There's touch wood, it doesn't carry on raining forever. But we're going to do something else, which you're about to see. We have our next lovely heifer is going to go see the bull and the reason they're going to see the bull is if you want to get milk from a cow they have to be in calf they have to have a calf we try and calve our heifers at around 24 months and we've probably gone a little bit to 25 26 which is a little bit annoying but we were just a bit slow last year or whatever it was but now there's about eight of them that need to go see the bull so instead of trying to get eight out and running around the field there's a bridge that we've got over there that's really easy to handle them so we're going to pull these out hopefully they'll all come out go over that bridge to go into the other bridge and get sorted is the plan of attack with a ginger guy and luke luke's gonna stop them at the manor two way i'm gonna go around them dad's gonna stop them that way is the plan that worked really well the only thing we've left in is that Charolais that's a little bit nuts hopefully it can just calm down for well I'll probably have it out for about 10 minutes <laughs> nothing too stressful hopefully they've got them all in which is good so what we have is our heifers and it worked super smoothly <laughs> 3128 is a super friendly cow we have dad on the gate what we need to do is we need to pull anything that is under 3130 number wise but over 14 months that's how we're going to do it we've got here is 3118 so we've actually pulled out more than we thought we we're going to pull out which is good we've got one left that's got horns it's now called the one with horns it's only 25th of the fifth so it's about 14 months old just over but let's say this was cycling yesterday it's not going to get caught by nigel till three weeks so she'll be five months old 15 months old in three weeks and that says if she catches straight away here they are he's growing i'll tell you that minute. oh there's one here there's one, there's one. So what we've done there is in the end we've actually put quite a lot we thought we were going to get eight we've got one two and eleven twelve i'll tell you a look, look at him there's a bit of neptune in him isn't there? 12 heifers we've put with him what's nine months from now take three months off the months now spring yeah spring perfect perfect first of may 12 heifers to carve do you know what the best thing about that is you can control the feeding in late gestation because they won't be out at grass and you've got less chance of having over big calves. You can just make sure that they're grown but not fat so we have less calving problems. That's the theory. Let's see if it works. It's one of those we could have kept one or two of them back and had 10, but me and Luke, we like calving cows, don't we? Luke and I. Luke and I. Uh, we like calving cows. We like to be busy. So we've only got one, two, three, ten. I think 10 or 11. We've got 11 in here, taking out 12. So we did have 23. Good maths for Tom, 24 including the other. So there's gonna be loads in here with the bull and with the highlands. So our plan is, today is Thursday, and in eight days, the vets come in. So our plan is to pull all these out, scan the heifers that have been with Nigel, whatever's in calf, we can take out, and we can chuck in with these ones. That's the idea anyway, because there's no point them running with him. And then it's taking a few more out of this group and putting them in that group. Are we happy with uh, that moving? Yeah, let's just get these back. Let's get these back. Yep! Yeah. 
Did you guys go and do some topping? Let's see, there's only 11 left in there. 12 including the shower lay that is not ours. It's good. Remember the 1st of May, 2023, when me and Luke are pulling our hairs out. Remember how we were having a good time on that day? <laughs> well, nine months ago anyway. And Nigel was definitely having a good time. Right, we might have a little job for Nigel as well, so we'll see that now. I think there's 44 in here. Imagine being Nigel. You've just had 12 new ladies. Look at that! Everyone is jumping on everyone. He's jumping on, trying to jump on two of them. There's 12 in there, and they're on a 21 day cycle. That's how cows work. So every 1.2, 1.3 days, there'll be a new heifer to jump on for him. He ain't gonna get all of them in car. Not in that three weeks. That would be mad. You can't say we're not good to him. So we are back and we are getting the bull and the heifer from over the road. We've had Susie back as well. She's over there. We've got a big wave. We've got all the team here today because dad is actually away in Scotland. We've got the cows coming up. We're going to try and get the Highland, our lovely bull to call Nigel. And you'll be able to see him up front of how big he's actually got. Yeah, he's got a big lad. We'll get him up, get him in and see if these cows are in calf. We're going to do something a little bit special with Nigel. So Susie has been doing some vetting this morning. Uh, that's why it's mucky and it is a farm and there's muck on a farm. And what we're gonna do now is we pulled all the heifers with Nigel because we put, what was it, 12 the other day? 12 new heifers with Nigel, the field's quite full. So we're looking at just PD and everything. Give everything a bit of a spray so we can take a few out of there and put them away from Nigel. You know, because if they're in calf, they don't need to be with him. Gives the field a little bit of a break. And the other thing we do have is Highlands. And they came quite well. So what we'll do is we'll just PD the Highlands as well to see where they're up to. Oh, we have. Luke, Ben, Katie the vet student, and Susie the super vet. <laughs> We're with Megan, the Highland cow. Is she gonna be in calf? Dad thinks she's not gonna be in calf because she thinks it's in a bullet. Okay. No one thinks she's in calf. Good old Meg. Susie's doing the not in calf face. If I've seen a not in calf face, that is it. No, I'm not gonna say that yet. No, she's in calf. Oh, is she? <laughs> How this is this is great news. This video wasn't even about the Highlands being in calf. How far are we saying? So I'd say she's about six weeks. Six weeks in calf. So when Dad saw Nigel doing the deed, it's good to know, isn't it? Six weeks in calf. Cheers, Suze. That's great news. That is that is fantastic news. <laughs> so what Ben's gonna do as well, because we got all the heifers in, we're gonna trim the tails. We have left five in the field, they didn't all come. And um, they don't get fed that much cake, not as we used to do. And the other thing I'm gonna do as well. To spray them all with a little bit of fly spray because they're all here, we'll get them done. For me, big news, we've got May, the Super Highlands. Every Highland is super. So we can't read Susie's face because normally the not in calf face doesn't. Yeah, it's not that do you know, good Yeah, do you know what the not in calf face is? What? If you don't say in calf in five seconds because you're normally <laughs> really good. In there. So that's that's the face that I say. I'm afraid she's not in calf. She's not in calf, no, devastated. She, is she could be. She could be less than 28 oh, days. Yeah. She could be not, yeah. Bit of a positive note, but still a good looking piece. <laughs> Good old Meg. Who is this one in Garth too, yeah? Yes, you are. Chaos. Absolute chaos this morning. And that is how my GoPro stuff breaks. So Ben's just gonna clip the... Just keep the Highlands a little bit tidier. So when it does get wet, because it will get wet in a month or two, a little bit more neater. The other good thing about having your heifers in, they've been PD'd, they've been fly, and this one's got a bit of dermy. Let's just wash it off, she's gonna hate me. This is gonna be great YouTube if I get kicked in the face. Boom, sorted. So this is our third Highland. We are currently 50% success rate. Susie is about to make it 66%. Pressure. Pressure is on. Good, wow. she's pregnant. She's pregnant, woohoo! 66%, that'll do. How, how many days are we saying? Just trying to get a good... Oh, we can see it. Oh, we can see it, where's the, where's it, where's it? Do we do press the button? Yeah, just that one. Struggling to get a good image of it. 
We got this black uterine fluid, which is good, which is why I know that she's pretty certain she's in car. It's more like membrane. Might be worth rechecking. I'm hopeful, but I'd maybe we'll just recheck her. Yeah. 28 days. I rechecked the cape, but we're nearly 66%, which is a great result. Right, we'll get all these cows done, and then we'll go see Nigel. <laughs> so Susie has just gone because she is a vet. He paid per hour, and I think they're like. £130 an hour, something like that. So, want to get rid of her as quickly as possible in the nicest way. We do love Susie, but you know. We have 21 in calf that are going to carve in the next eight months, technically, because if they're PD'd in calf, they're at least 28 days in calf, and the gestation period of a cow is nine months. It's nine months. Bending brows, I was playing the game. Uh, okay, the gestation period of a cow is nine months. Nine months. <laughs> so, these guys are all in calf, but they're not very close to calf. So we're gonna put them in the field where we took the other ones out of, and we've got blue stripes on them. They've trimmed the tails, so we know exactly who they are. So if we need to pick the other ones out in four weeks, we can do with no bother. We've picked two heifers out that are gonna carve very, very soon. Well, in the next month or so. And the dry cow that lived over the road because she doesn't like sleeping in stalls and our dry cows are in stalls at the moment. So we kicked her over the road and she's gonna meet the cows as well. So we've got three here. And also the next big job is get the big boy in, Mr. Nigel and get him trimmed up, flied up, and maybe, because he's here, he might worm him. Makes sense, makes sense. Right, let's get him. Um, Nigel is growing into a bit of a tank. Oh, fully. He's getting bigger, isn't he? Yeah, I'm going to pull him just trim this out. Good boy. He's going to tip back. I didn't really know this system. And Neptune was quite good because he knew how to get in a store. We got him in younger, but he's just a bit confused and he's definitely growing into an absolute tank. So what we'll do oh, is please. we've got him in, look at his back end. So what Ben's gonna do now is just trim him up. Yeah, Ben? Yeah. Make him look all pretty. We're gonna fly him and we're gonna worm him as well whilst we've got him in um, because he is in for an absolute treat. Put a bit of fly stuff on him, a bit of wormer. Just like that, we're in. Save your handling. Still in a bit. Let's call him 800 kilos, put him to 900. Making a mess. Been wormed, flied, cleaned off, and now he's in for a massive treat. Something very special. Little teddy bear, eh? Yeah. Plan is, well, why we've done this on a Friday off vetting day, it's been a bit of a hectic day, busy. Nigel, our baby rhino bull, is gonna go and see 120 to 130 cows. I'm gonna have the best time ever. He's definitely growing. Look at the size of him. He's solid as anything. Are we thinking he's gonna be as big as Neptune? I reckon so. Somewhere near anyway, any. Look at the back end on him. Absolutely amazing. So he's gonna go with two heifers and a dry cow. If you shut there, I'll stand up there. That's cool, you. Because we've got a couple of cows that are going a bit long in the tooth. Or let them go when you think. I mean, they're not long in the tooth. And they've carved for a while. They're getting to near 200 days and we want to get them in calf. So he's just going to have a bit of a sweeping session. We do this on occasion on this farm. Um, just in case you need to just clean up a couple of cows, clean up a couple of heifers. We just send out the bull. And he does an absolutely fantastic job.
So that is it. Nigel has had 12 new ladies for a week. Then he's going to go in the herd for about two weeks, which isn't going to be the end of the world because let's say he's served four or five of them. He's served four or five heifers. We can carve them and then we'll have like a two week break. Sounds quite good, doesn't it? And then he can come back with the, these cows because he's not going to have too long with us. I know the cycle period is three weeks, but the cows that we were chasing were bulling like a week ago, if that makes sense. When they bulled them, we'll take them out, put them back with these, and he'll serve the other eight. And then we have more heifers to put with him in about six weeks. So he's going to be a very, very busy boy. But our next job now is to get all these back in their field and back to grass. The good result though, 66% of our highlands that we PD'd today were in calf. Two out of three, it's not too bad, is it? Probably not the best place to leave a drone, but we've got to move these. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, what should you do? Like and subscribe. Yes, yeah. and you get TV merch at... Is it tompemperton.com? Right. Pretty close, tompemperton-farmlife.co.uk. Big help from Ewan and Lily. Luke, as always, and Ben, and Susie and Katie. It was a proper team effort, and ginger guy at the start. Gotta love it, guys. I hope you did love this one. Nigel is definitely growing, turning into a little bit of a baby monster. He's a good boy. Right, gonna move some cows. See you in a bit. Bye. Hey!